I've been playing around with Ideogram, or Ideogram, however it's pronounced, because they now have their 1.0. So if we click on here, we can see that just there. And as you can see, the designs look really, really nice. So what we're going to do is give you a quick overview of the software. Then we're going to come through, take a look at some of the creations that I created, and I'm going to share with you the prompts that I used. Now, the great thing about Ideogram or Ideogram, what is it actually called? Is it Ideogram or Ideogram? Drop a comment down below letting me know. But the great thing is you can play around with this completely for free. So if we take a look here at the monthly, they have their free plan, which is just here, where you get 100 images per day, along with 25 prompts. It's 100 images because one prompt creates four images. But then they have their basic plan, which is $8, where you get even more images. And then this is what I've currently got. I've got the plus plan, which is around $20, because of one main feature, and that is I can keep everything private. Now, that's the pricing out of the way. So let me go ahead and give you a quick overview of the website. So if we go over to the home page, we can actually see in the gallery what people have been creating. Now, there's three tabs. There's the Explore, the Following, and the Top. If you're on the Explore, you're going to see all of these creations which people have created. You can also click through to any user by going on their username, open it in a new tab, and you can also follow from here. Now, if you follow a person, it's then going to show up in your following tab just here. Now, we can also take a look at the top creations as well and scroll through here. If there's anything that we like, we can actually heart these designs by clicking just here. Then that's going to show up in your saved list. And I'll get to that in a second as well. Now, if we click on one of these, we're going to get to be able to see the prompt use. We're going to see the magic prompt, which is just here, and the prompt that they used. You're also going to see all of the different four creations that that prompt created. We can also follow a designer on here as well by clicking here, and we can also heart as well, or we can remix this design. So that's going to put the image there, and then we can use the prompt and remix it, and we can add or take away things from the prompt as well. Now, if we come over to our profile, we're going to see anything that we've pinned just here. We're going to see all of our own public creations, which aren't private. And as you can see, these are all mine just here. These are all public, which you can check out. Then you're going to have your private tab and also your liked. So again, when you like a design here on Ideogram, it's going to show up just here. And these are all the different ones which I've liked. Now, if you want to use someone else's prompt, all we have to do is click on that design. And over here, we can actually just click on copy. We can come up to here. Let's just get rid of this for a second. And then we can just paste that in there. Now, over here, we have a few different options. We can upload our own image and we can use the editor to edit images as well. Now, I haven't really played around with that, so we're just going to pass by that. But this is the magic prompt. This is on, off, or auto. If you have it off, it's just mainly going to use this prompt. But then if you have it on, it's going to add to that prompt and make it even better. So this is the prompt, and this is the magic prompt. Now, if we go back on here, we can choose between a few different ratios like here. We also can choose between the models. So to use their latest 1.0, you want to make sure that it's turned on. So if you have it on 0.1 or 0.2, you want to put it on one just here. And when you've created something or when you are going to create something, if you want to make that private, remember you do have to have the top plan and this is where you can make it private or public. Let's just put that on public and then we have a few different options just here. Now, in fact, let's go back over to my profile. Let's choose one of these. Now, in fact, let's actually have a look through these, and then we're going to take a look at the prompts which I used, because I like to keep my prompt structure very, very simple. So, as we can see, I've created all of these. Now, this sloth one was actually my favourite. Again, if we take a look here, this was the prompt which I used, very simple. 
And then this is the magic prompt. So again, if we click on here, this is where we want to keep the magic prompt on because it's going to add a lot more detail to your basic prompt and you're going to get much better results. Now, if we take a look through these, we can see what the four generations actually look like. This one was okay. This one was pretty good. I really liked this. This one, not so great, but then this one was my favorite. And again, if we want to use this or copy the prompt, we can click on copy. We can paste that in there. And then this is where we can change a few things. So this is kind of the structure which I've been using. So it's sticker design, then a description of what I want. Then if I want words in the design, I put with the words, and this is where I add them, just here. So that came out a bit wrong. Let's just redo that like so. But with the words, and then I put the words just here, and then I also use flat bright colors isolated on a white background. Then that illustration comes from choosing illustration just here. So that's the structure that I use, because this makes it ever so easy to come in and change my designs. So now if I want to create a t-shirt design instead of sticker, all I have to do is change sticker to t-shirt. Then put in the detailed description, along with any phrases or words that I want in the design. If I don't want any words or phrases, then I just take this part out. And then flat bright colors isolated on a white background. I use flat bright colors because then this makes it so much easier when you go to vectorize your image. So if we go ahead and take a look at more of these designs just here, we can then see all the prompts used. So I really liked this one, so let's go on here. If we look at this, in fact, let's just take this and put that up here. T-shirt design, so instead of the sticker design, I actually also put love themed design there as well. And then the description, so two avocados snuggling up together, cute faces and hearts. Then there's the with the words, avo cuddle, flat bright colors isolated on a white background. Now, if we take a look over here, this is the magic prompt which was created from this simple prompt just here. Now, if we take a look at these, we can see what these four designs look like. I really like this one as well, and also this one, and this one as well. Now, let's go back for a second. Let's choose this one, because I believe this design was really nice as well. I think it was this one. This looked really good. This is Guac, or Guac and Roll, a play on the words of rock and roll. The only thing that I didn't like is that it kind of messed it up a little bit there, but then this one knocked it out of the park, and this one looks really great. Perfect little sticker, even though it says t-shirt design. Now another one which I really liked was this one. So this is t-shirt design, two tacos. So this prompt was a little bit more simpler because this is when I was first playing around with it, but we can see t-shirt design, two tacos, Tacos are my valentine, in brackets. If you put anything in brackets, then that's the words that the AI is going to use. But then I got on a white background and illustration. If we take a look at this one, this one turned out amazing. The words are perfect and the design looks really, really good. So that's ideogram or ideogram, however you want to say it. Again, how do you pronounce it? Drop a comment down below letting me know. But as you can see, the upgrade has done a fantastic job and you can actually create some really nice designs. If we take a look at my profile picture just here where it says stack in profit, that was also created here with ideogram. Now what I'll also do is put that prompt that I use down in the description. So all you have to do is come through, copy it, paste it over and then change up a few things. But nonetheless, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.